yo what's up guys in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how to reduce input delay in gforce now and how to fix lag buffering and etc make sure to like this video let's try and get 50 likes on this video i know we can i know we can hit it so come on let's try and get 50 likes on this video and make sure to subscribe because we are almost at 10,000 subscribers boys so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new let's get straight into the video also by the way if you haven't noticed I recently just upgraded to a new 240 hertz 1080p monitor. One millisecond, one millisecond response second. What? One millisecond response time. So when I get my new PC in a couple within this week, so when I get my new PC within this week, I will be able to start playing the game, making way better content, and you guys will probably enjoy all that. So make sure you stay tuned to my further. So make sure you stay tuned to the content that's coming out soon on the channel. Anyway, let's go straight into the video. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to your desktop. Now you want to right click, press task manager. Once task manager is opened, you just want to go to your start. Make sure you go to your startup here. As you can see, I have all of these things here. They all say disabled because I disabled them. Apart from um real tech that well that should be enabled so let me quickly enable that apart from this one should be enabled and maybe discord if i want to use Discord, i'm gonna have that enabled but all of these other ones you want these disabled make sure you disable this this makes it so when you open up your computer like when you turn it on it loads up really fast and like it doesn't have to like open up the other softwares which can cause high cpu usage and um, make your game on geforce now feel way worse so I, I'd make sure that you come here and just right click, press disable on every single one. Unless it's like something essential that you need. Alright, so the next step involves something you have to download, which I'll leave a link in the description to if you need it. So, well, you are, you are going to need it. But yeah, it's just called, let me quickly do something. This is called timerresolution.exe, guys. You need this. Double click it. As you can see, mine says minimum resolution 15.625 and maximum resolution is 0.500 so well 0.5 and my current resolution is one millisecond so you just want to press on maximum and it'll put it to the half so that makes it so when, when you click things so let's say i click this it's faster but then if i if i did that it's slower can clearly tell the difference a massive difference okay and then once you're done using it you just want to close it okay so the next thing you want to do there are two ways of doing this you can either press it will hit windows button and r and then put temp it should come up with all of this stuff i'm gonna have it blurred out though because uh, i don't know if there's anything uh, important that i don't want you guys to see and then you just want to press Control A, delete, bang. Then it says it, it, it will just it will just start deleting everything. Okay, guys. Then after that, you just want to hit Windows R again. And you this time you want to put percentage temp close percentage. It should come up with your next temporary files. And you just want to press Control A and clear all of that. Simple as that, guys. Also, sometimes your temp files can be up to uh, like hundreds of gigabytes depending on if you've never really cleared them before so i'd recommend to keep on clearing your temporary files so you can reduce like high cpu usage or um less space on your hard drive i've only anyway, i've only got 56 gigs because i saved way too much stuff but i will free it up later okay so the next thing you want to do this will fix like input delay so all you want to do is you want to go over to GeForce now, right click it in the desktop remember, and then you want to go to open file location. Once you go to open file location, you should see something called GeForce now streamer.json. I think that's how you pronounce it. You just want to press properties and then drag properties over there. You want to right click and press open. Now, as you can see, you have all of these options. You can either use DirectX 12, but I usually stay on DirectX 11 because I actually prefer it to DirectX 12. 
but that's that that's not really what we're here to do so what you want to do is you want to turn off v-stick you want to, you want to uh, change from true to false so you want to put FA blah 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 spell that wrong my bad after that as you can see here you just want to change this to true can't spell that uh, I mean I can't just be the bot and then um same thing here true and then once you do that, you just want to press save, exit, go back to the properties, check read only, uh, read only and then press apply, ok, exit out of that, and then open up GeForce now. Ok, so once we're loaded into GeForce now, you just want to go to the top right, and it should say settings. And as you can see, the bottom left, a new thing has popped up, direct mouse input. Minimizes mouse latency during gameplay, but sometimes, uh, like let's say you have like really, really, really bad internet, you, your game's gonna feel really weird. Like this keyboard's gonna feel really irregular, really out of function. Like it's not functioning the way you, it's supposed to, and it will feel weird. But if you have like eye internet, then you'll be good. Now you can have a go on competitive and then play on 720p but i don't really like 720p gameplay it just doesn't seem right to me so that i use um i use custom you can first do it internet um speed in geforce now not on speed test websites because i used to do it on speed test web speed test websites then i realized that i'm supposed to be doing a speed test to the geforce now servers not to the um speed test website servers like where wherever that's from so we need to be doing them to the geforce now server so whenever you want to do a speed test for geforce now make sure you come to geforce now and test your network as you can see i actually have no idea what is wrong with my internet but it's definitely things that are on my computer because usually my internet's over 50 but lately it's been acting really really weird so like i have really bad latency my megabits per second so my bandwidth is terrible but don't worry guys this, this, this is just a one-time thing usually it isn't like this i'll have to probably delete things off my pc maybe they're running up my pc space so well my cpu usage and stuff like that make my pc harder for me to play on okay so once you know your measured speed you just want to take the bit rate to it so mine was seven i think five seven so i just want to put mine at six and then i mean six is terrible uh, if you have good internet just put it at 50 and it'll look the smoothest out of all of these and then you just want to select uh your your res so mine is 1080 60 fps and make sure you have this on because if you don't your game is going to look really weird it could be really weird and then turn vsync off make a press back and you can just play if you guys made it to the end of the video, go and comment Vault Pistols in the comment section. Just go and comment Vault Pistols, please. Because we don't want them in the game. So, if this, if this helped you, make sure to like. So you can get this recommended to other people that need this. And make sure to subscribe because it helps me out a lot with helping me reach 10k. Be able to put stories on my channel. I'll soon release memberships and I'll stream, I'll soon be streaming again on my new PC. So make sure you guys are tuned for that. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.